Hey, look who it is. What an offer, by the way. On my project? No, on whoever can pay for its project. Aaron would let me have it. Yeah, me too. In exchange for cash. Capitalist. Ah, oh, look who's been listening in school for once. Oh, don't worry, secret's safe for me. Just keep hold of it for me, would you? You know I'm good for it when my inheritance comes through. Ah, oh, right. Is this the, uh, the same inheritance that Chaz is in charge of and won't let you spend a penny of? That inheritance. <laughs> Look, I tell you what, I'll think about it. If you can keep an eye on this place while I go and get some dinner from the pub, all right? Can I have a go on the toy wheels? It's not a toy, and no. Whatever. Why still here, mate? Jog on. You'd think I was launching a rocket for those prices. It's a small adventure park. No, no, just forget it. Uh, your overpriced services are no longer required. Great. So now, on top of everything else, I have to find cheap caterers for the launch. Victoria's got her street van up and running again, hasn't she? Yeah, well, that might be tricky. Oh, Andy, I'm sorry. Yes, Charles, can you get a pie? What? A pie? Yeah, go on back, ask your wife. Cheers. Hey, what's dropped your gob to the floor anyway? Gives money has come through. It's near on 250 grand, what with, you know, taxes and Gordon's debt. Right, well, it's perfect timing, it's like a sign. For what? The 4x4 four four lives hankering on after. <laughs> the one that I'm gonna have to sell on if she don't pay up soon. Come on, Charles, the money's right there. All lonely, on its own, in a vault, desperate for some action. And you've got a chance to put it to some good use. What's stopping you? Well, I understand if it makes you uncomfortable. Mum, she's... Shh. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Victoria. You're hiring Victoria? Yeah, well, we need a caterer. She's good and cheap. Well, I don't want Andy's sister here. You're going to have to deal with worse than this in the future. Mum, please, just, just call her up. Tell her now. I can't. I'm sorry. What's she playing at? I'm an awesome caterer, thanks. But you know what I mean? Listen, Chrissy knows that I'm not to blame for my two brothers causing her heartbreak, right? Well, still, having you there is an unwelcome reminder, isn't it? I mean, why would she put herself through that? Because I am that good, Robert. That's why. You're fired. It was one joyride. And no, you can't find me, cos I only help round here anyway. Yeah, well, not anymore. Why not? Because you took off on my quad underage without a licence. Ha! You used to ride all over before you had a licence. Thanks for the backup, babe. Look, Liv, the insurance doesn't even begin to cover any accidents you might have had. You didn't have any accidents, did you? Just an near miss. I've been working on Charles to give you a break and to buy you this wreck. I didn't ask you to, did I? Oh, let me guess, it was a waste of time, wasn't it? No, because your inheritance came through, actually. And after talking to me, she took off to the bank because she wanted to buy this old heap before the other guy does. That's amazing. Sorry for calling you annoying, Divend. What? When? Who cares? Got me a real car now. No more Toy Town training wheels rubbish. <laughs> 